Could the blueprint for advancing modern medicine lie in the genetic code inside each of us? What if specialized cells, like those in our skin or liver, could be reprogrammed to become something completely different? Could a skin cell turn into a nerve cell, or even create a whole new organism? Meet John Gurdon, a scientist who explored these questions and made a huge discovery in the 1950s that changed how we think about cells and their potential. But before we dive into Gurdon's groundbreaking experiment, let's back up a bit and talk about cells and DNA. Our bodies are made up of trillions of tiny building blocks called cells, which have different functions. For example, muscle cells help us move, nerve cells send electrical messages, and white blood cells fight off germs. No matter their job, all these cells have one thing in common. They each contain DNA, stored in their nucleus. DNA is like the ultimate instruction manual for life. Inside it are the genes, like many different chapters that tell your body how to build proteins and keep functioning. It's like each cell uses different parts of the DNA manual depending on what it needs. Muscle cells use one set of instructions, while gut cells use others. But here's the kicker. Even though different cells follow different pages, they all have access to the complete DNA manual. So, back to Gurdon's big idea. He wanted to know if you could reset a specialized cell, like a skin or gut cell, so that it could turn into any kind of cell. In the 1950s, Gurdon took a mature gut cell from a frog, removed its nucleus, where the DNA is stored, and put it in a frog egg that had its own nucleus removed. The result? A completely normal tadpole. This tadpole was the very first cloned animal, over 40 years before the birth of Dolly the sheep. This was game-changing. Gurdon's experiment proved that even a specialized cell still holds all the information needed to create an entire organism. It was like discovering that every cell has access to the whole manual, not just a single chapter. Scientists once thought that once a cell specialized, it was stuck that way forever. But Gurdon flipped that idea on its head. Fast forward to 2012, and Gurdon's revolutionary work earned him a Nobel Prize, which he shared with Shinya Yamanaka, another scientist who made huge strides in this field. Their combined discoveries opened new possibilities in stem cell research and regenerative medicine. But the story doesn't end with these two pioneers. Today, scientists from all over the world are working to build on these discoveries. In labs across the globe, Researchers are using reprogrammed cells to tackle some of the biggest challenges in medicine. They're developing ways to repair damaged tissues, regenerate organs, and even find new treatments for diseases such as diabetes and Alzheimer's. From one groundbreaking experiment in the 1950s to today's global scientific community, the story of reprogramming cells is still being written. And with each new discovery, we're one step closer to unlocking the full potential of the cells within us.